Bienvenidos a Vida en Forma, el programa que transforma tu vida. Muchos de ustedes, nuestros televidentes, nos han escrito en nuestras redes sociales que hablemos sobre la salud de nuestro sistema óseo y para eso les traemos al PhD de medicina, creador de diferentes patentes que están en este momento en productos alrededor de todo el mundo, en los cinco continentes y además autor de cuatro libros y colaborado en diez más. Él es el doctor Narain Naidu que nos acompaña desde California. Doctor Narain Naidu, bienvenido a Vida en Forma. Welcome to Vida en Forma. Thank you so very much, David, and I'm truly privileged and I'm truly honored to be in your show. Oh, we've been talking a lot before this interview starts, and I already want all my uh, audience, all of you, to know uh, all the interesting stories and all his experience in the medicine world, because I know he has some things that will change the way you understand health and you understand wellness. Dr. Narain Naidu, tell us a little bit about your career. Could you share that a little bit with our audience? Um, well, my career started in 1981 when I enrolled for my PhD in medical microbiology. Uh, during my PhD program, uh, accidentally, I came across and discovered a, a new disease, non-menstrual toxic shock syndrome. Then I, for a brief time, I worked with the World Health Organization. Then I went away to Europe. I was in uh, Eastern Europe, especially in uh, Hungary for quite some time. Then I went to Sweden and uh, there I worked with lactoferrin. That is the, the molecule I never knew that would change the world in the next 30 years. Uh, in 1992, I came as a professor to University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill in the United States. Then I was invited down to California to start and build a, a new research center, which I built it in uh, California State University. And that time I was involved in uh, one of the biggest uh, uh, problems in the uh, United States and in the world about the contamination of beef with uh, E. coli. And I was involved with that project with the uh, United States uh, uh, government and with the meat industry. And in 2000, year 2000, we, we found a solution how we could treat beef and meat products for uh, E. coli. Uh, and then in year 2001, um, we have so much of data, so much of information. I thought it is a good idea to start a new biotech company. So we started a new biotech company that would help pharma uh, industry, that would help the food industry and the animal industry uh, how to produce certain natural chemicals to treat these animals or treat the human beings, treat the foods with natural compounds so that we have a natural way of protecting and promoting the health of uh, individuals. And today we have four companies and all these four companies are operated uh, uh, under the name of uh, NIDO group of companies. And some of uh, our research is being shared or it is being uh, uh, collaborated with uh, companies like uh, Nikan. And today I'm here uh, on a tour of Latin America for Nikan to promote bone health. Dr. Naidu, and what, what can we do to maintain good, healthy bones? That's a, a very good question, uh, David. The health of our bones are decided from our childhood. You will be surprised to know, David, that our entire skeletal system, our bones, they will be totally replaced by in your lifetime at least 10 times. Means almost every time whenever you are replacing your bones, you are a new person with new bones in probably every three, four years. By the age you are 20, your skeleton is already replaced five times. So, coming back to healthy bones, the way the deposition of the bones will happen, how the minerals are deposited, it will continue to the age of 30. 
till the age of 30, whatever you have in your bank balance, bone bank balance, that is the one that is going to help you throughout your life. So that is very, very important everybody to know in your childhood and in your, uh, when you are young, you need to work very, very hard. Then after the age 30, you can retire with your a good skeletal system. And now to have a good healthy bones is very, very important. Bones work with a function, David, it is called as use it or lose it. If you don't use your bones properly, you would lose your bones. So have good diet, do exercise and make sure all your bones are getting the necessity, the necessary exercise and the necessary diet and necessary mineral balance to last you for a long time. Dr. Narain, I do. So could you explain us those three uh, bullet points that you mentioned before? Absolutely, David. Uh, the first point, as uh, you mentioned, let us talk about lifestyle. Lifestyle is critical for everything in our body, for every function, whether your heart, whether your brain, whether your intestinal tract. There is a symphony of life going on in your body and lifestyle is important for everything, including bones. For example, if you're daily, if you're if you walking and if you're having an active life and if you're uh, doing bicycling and if you're uh, eating uh, good food and uh, if you're having a healthy lifestyle, you will have a healthy body including healthy bones. For example, if you're trying to drink too much of soda, soda will, if you try to take soda, soda and throw it on a, on a limestone, everything will, will melt. So your bones are made up of lime, calcium. If you try to take too much of soda, that will affect your bones. Similarly, if you drink too much of uh, alcohol, your bones are affected. And smoking affects bones. So you need to be careful what kind of lifestyle you would choose so that you can have a healthy skeletal system and you can have a healthy life. And uh, what about sodium? How sodium affects uh, our bones? Sodium has an indirect effect, I would say. Whenever you try to take sodium, you are increasing your blood pressure. Your blood is moving faster, David. So now having said that, when you wanted to transport your nutrients to your body, to your bones, for example, if you wanted to transfer minerals from your intestinal tract, from your food, into your bone, it would take a, a proper time of uh, travel for the blood to go and at a normal blood pressure, it is delivered in a right fashion. And hypertension or hypotension, that is high blood pressure or low blood pressure, would change those dynamics of mineral transport. So therefore, it's also important that you have the right kind of sodium in your food. And uh, you also mentioned, Dr. Narain, um, the importance of good uh, food. What can we eat to help promote uh, a good bone system? Uh, before I go into food, uh, David, let me tell you some amazing thing about what is there in life in terms of calcium. Life has evolved from ocean and came onto the earth. Let us look into what is the calcium of the ocean. The calcium content of the ocean is approximately one millimolar. If you go and check the calcium content in any life form, whether it is a bird or a butterfly or a human being, in our body, the calcium content is one millimolar. So whenever we are eating food, we are also getting food from calcium from food. It is not only a calcium tablet or a supplement, you would get calcium every day. Whichever you are eating, you are getting calcium. But there are some foods which have better quality of biologically available calcium than others, like kale, for example. And uh, if you try to take cheese, if you try to take any of the milk products, if you try to take any of the, the uh, soy products, if you're trying to take tofu, these are the ones that has high levels of calcium 
and it is good to eat calcium rich foods to have a, a very good healthy bones. And Dr. Narain, when to take supplements or who should take a calcium supplement? Calcium supplements are more I would say that the supplements or the bio replenishments that is the word I would use that would promote the transport of calcium. Just taking calcium supplement will not help you. If that would have helped, there would not be any problem of bone health on this planet. Everybody, calcium is available. But only supplements won't help. You need to first make sure that your transport system of how calcium is moved to the bones have to be understood. Having said that, uh, David, let me tell you. Calcium coming from outside, any calcium that is coming from outside and into our body will not be immediately taken in. It is like bringing pesos to America. You cannot spend pesos in America until you go to a bank and convert the pesos into dollars. Then you can spend dollars in America. Similarly, any calcium coming from outside, including calcium supplements, should be first deposited into the bone. They should become our own calcium, like the dollars. And then that is the calcium that is spent in the body. So now it is very, very important to understand this particular mechanism. You need to have those kinds of molecules in our body that would help calcium to put into the bone and calcium to come out of the bone. So we are working on those technologies for the last 30 years. Those are called bioreplenishments. Dr. Naidu, and how do you take care of your health, of your own health? What good habits do you live and, and how do you try to eat every day? Off the camera. <laughs> <laughs> that is probably the most toughest question you asked, David. <laughs> <laughs> For me to actually to maintain a, a any of those healthy, this thing is impossible for me. <laughs> because I'm traveling, I'm doing research many times. Sorry, I think it's off the camera. When I'm writing a book, that is where actually my family and my wife and my children get uh, worried. That when I'm writing a book, for hours and hours, I'm locked inside the room. Nobody should disturb me. Only my dog sit next to me. Yeah, and that is, that is my problem. And when I get involved into my work, I don't think about anything. So I'm the wrong person to ask that question. <laughs> you can ask a sportsman, you can ask somebody, I think probably they are very, very um, strict and very, very disciplined about their yes. diet and uh, this thing. For me, I'm driven by my work. But, but that's good, I think, Mr. Naidu, because, because passion is very important in life. And uh, if you are driven by passion, then all your body is strong and, uh, That's true. and uh, your soul is strong, your heart is strong. And it's uh, another way of uh, bio replenishment by passion. Um, I would say that uh, passion is outside the biological energy. It is something else. Um, for example, when I want to do music, I sit sometimes with my, my friends, with my orchestra, and I want to do music. I can't do music. I can't think about it. And many times we do a film, and I said that, okay, this for that film, I want to do a, a, a symphony. I cannot do. And all of a sudden, I feel like I want to do it. And it is not me. Something else tells me. And I hear that music before I do it. It, is, it might sound like a crazy guy talking. No, very interesting, very interesting. And the music I listen is much beautiful than the music I compose. And until you go into that space, I hear a music I never heard before. It is not in a CD, it is not by, conducted by, by Mahler or uh, Mozart or nobody. I think this is beautiful music. And then I get up and I write the whole music probably within an hour. The book I wrote, Redox Life book I wrote, 
that's the one that actually got me into some some kind of uh, health trouble is it is a 550 pages book a textbook it is almost like a, a research volume i wrote in 3 months not only wrote i used to write every 3 days stop used to get my designers and i used to design every page yeah and uh, i don't know how i did it my i i, I truly don't know how i did it and uh, my entire family was worried because i was in some kind of a different world all, all the time i used to i used to when i used to walk in the house there is he's like a zombie <laughs> because my entire mind is in that and i was writing and writing and writing so i'm a bad person to ask about lifestyle i i do something outside life something else <laughs> uh, but i i think it's it's very it's very good because uh, what we are talking about is that you are following your passions yes. your uh, i don't know if you say like that your vocation what where you are meant to be in life and in this world and you are doing it with passion and i think that if that makes you happy happiness has a, an immense power in your body and uh, And, and later, uh, you, you write your book, and later you have some time to do the rest. Yeah. For example, my exercise is usually a walk. That is my only exercise, and there's a lot of... And thanks to my three dogs, I have to... And they come and remind me, I have to walk them. And I'm very thankful to them. My dogs, they're like my children. I tell that story again, I think uh, one of my dogs I rescued from the street. It was hit by a car, and uh, we went and we... in the process of understanding how to repair its leg we developed a product and made the dog as a partner in that business the dog is a millionaire huh. the dog is a millionaire and he helps other dogs so the, the dog has a purpose and the one that we developed the product when you come to california i'll show it to you almost every veterinarian that product has won the award about last year as the best product in united states it is now in europe we are expanding everywhere this product can when there is a fracture for the bone it takes about 12 weeks for the fracture to heal with this technology in 8 7 to 8 weeks you can heal the fracture wow and we have data and you did that with love yes because, because this love dog. to that dog yes so this dog is a when you go into the website and look into bonio we have we have we can see the story we did a film on him um so again coming back sorry i think i don't want to take him much time no it's good it's for good. for you to ask me about dr naidu how how do you take care of health my wife and my children everybody will laugh if they <laughs> <laughs> if they see this yeah, and this will be a lie ah, i think yeah, yeah. i don't want you to lie in front ah, of the camera that's great that's great So Doctor, no that, that question no. <laughs> that question we skip it. You please. Thank you, thank you. And I'm sorry. Doctor I do. Thank you for uh thank you for sharing with our uh, viewers all your story, your passion and uh <laughs> Well, you already put that thing on uh, the camera? Yeah. <laughs> yes, all that story is great. Oh god, all, you all guys are dangerous. That story is great. <laughs> you guys are dangerous. <laughs> 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 we are going to share because I think above all is passion, is love, is happiness and is uh, to f to follow the path that we came to earth to follow. And uh, I think that's that's yeah, above yeah. all, that's above yes. bone health and everything. You are a special person yourself. The little time that I spent with you and I talked to you, you are a very important young man that is needed for sending the message to the rest of the world thank you and you are doing the right thing thank you mr naidu thank you dr naidu espero que hayan disfrutado muchísimo este programa de vida en forma ahí tienen todo para transformar la manera en que viven y en que han visto cómo cuidar nuestro cuerpo y el sistema óseo nos vemos en un próximo programa de vida en forma El programa que transforma tu vida.